Neo Nation. Well, well, as you all may know, last night, Donald Trump officially won the 2024 election with 277 electoral votes. And Mrs. Kamala Harris went out with 224, making Donald Trump the official 47th American president. And eight years ago, he was elected as the United States 45th president also. But most of us already know that. But this is something that y'all might not know. Last night, Trump became the first convicted felon to become president. He's still awaiting sentencing in his hush money case in New York. And he's still fighting other state and federal charges. According to CNN, Trump is scheduled for sentencing on November 26th for his conviction earlier this year on 34 counts of falsifying business records. Trump is officially the first criminal defendant to be elected as president. And when he's inaugurated at the beginning of next year in January, he'll be 78 years old, the oldest president in American history. And your boy, Charleston White, is so proud that Donald Trump was re-elected to become the United States president. He posted this video hilariously celebrating Trump once again becoming the United States president. We just want to thank you, Father God, because your words can't be amended. You said in your word, God, that a woman can't lead. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. It's in the Quran, Father God. So right now, we just give thanks and all honor in your son, Jesus Christ, for bringing Trump back to the White House. I got my president back. Hold up that fist. Oh, they tried to kill him. They tried to convict him. They tried to wrongfully convict him. They tried, oh, Father God, just thank you. We give all honor and praise to the Son, Jesus Christ. Yes, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We got my man back. We got my man back. They thought the engine go in. They thought the engine, oh, we got my man back. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Ah! It's Trump everything around here. It's Trump everything. It's Trump everything. Oh, it's Trump everything around here, boy. Girl. Look, it's Trump everything. Look, oh, we got Trump candy. It's Trump everything. We got Trump candy. Milk chocolate rice, crispy candy, boy. Nigga, we got Trump candy around here. I'm talking about real fucking real. Oh, I was born in the USA. I was born in the USA. Born in the USA, I was born in the USA, I was, ah, they mad, ah, they mad, boy, they girl, ah, they woke up mad, and I woke up black. Yeah, we brought out, we brought out all the Trump stuff. Boy, we got out all the Trump stuff. Yeah, we got Trump everything over here. Boy, we got Trump everything. We got Trump coins. Boy, we got Trump everything right here. Say, we brought out all the Trump stuff. We got Trump socks. We got Trump draw. We brought out all the stuff over here, baby. I told you. <laughs> Trump, 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 Trump. Notable Cashville legend, Nashville, Tennessee's very own King P said this. And I believe y'all need to hear this shit. You mother. <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah, I know I do this video. Yeah, I know I can't let y'all go without doing a video. Congratulations, Trump, the greatest con man on earth. I salute to you. You proved me right. The world's full of suckers. Only a con man can say all the shit he say and still win. Cause he proved right. I ain't mad. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna dedicate. My time, why he ain't always pointing out the bullshit that happened to you. Guess I told you. Yeah. You know how nigga was so happy with that fit, cutting it up, and be so happy with that money, they don't see him money, but they don't see what come behind setting that shit up. somebody die. He, they call me, oh boy, this old D died, man. Look, they somebody, the folks got his phone. They go, you know, call back the, the last nigga he talked to, and now you scared. That's what this is. 
You was thinking about some money. You were thinking about yourself. You were thinking about being selfish. But you ain't thinking about the outcome of what comes with that. Like, yeah, y'all got Trump in there. America's been exposed. I want to say America's been exposed and been racist because a black woman got blew out. And it ain't really, I can call it a racist because guess what? It was a lot of they voted against us. And a lot of Mexicans voted against us. And what I don't realize in the Bible it said the last days, things that's bad go seem good and things good go seem bad. Carlos good, but she seemed bad to y'all. Trump is bad. He seemed good to y'all. And what y'all don't realize is I don't knock Trump. Trump never promised you niggas nothing. He said he go get the emeralds about here, which he is. He go close that border, which he is. But I never hear him once say what he go do for you. He didn't say go give you shit. That nigga said, I'm going to give y'all taxes. I'm going I'm, to I'm cut taxes on overtime. That means you niggas got to get there and get a job and get some overtime. He ain't going to tax you on it. He ain't give you shit. He saying go work some overtime. He ain't going to tax it. The nigga said, go out there and be an Uber driver. I ain't going to tax your tips. He ain't trying to give you shit. He just said he ain't going to tax your tips. That means he ain't going to put no tax on your shit. But you got to get up off your ass and do something. See, what made Trump come in office is that pandemic. You niggas got lazy. All that PPP loan money, all them food stamps y'all getting. Some of y'all niggas got 1,200 in food stamps, depending on how many kids you had. You got a lot. I, heard, I know a few of y'all got a bunch of food stamps. Getting them uh, unemployment checks for damn near a year and a half. Hadn't worked in a long time. Some of y'all ain't paid y'all rent in two years. Ain't paid y'all mortgage. You got lazy. So when they ask you how you feel when Trump was in there, I can think about when the time the government made your and ass lazy. And you talk about all that bullshit, free shit you got. Yeah, shit was cheap back then. You had food stamps. It costs money when you go in your pockets. Yeah, food costs money when you go in your pockets. When you got food stamps, it didn't seem hot to you. It was hot. Because when those warehouse workers working at Tyson's food place, chicken and shit was hot. You just didn't know it because you had food stamps. But girl, you just did. You just sang grunting them death certificate. When that nigga looked over at the Mike Johnson and said, we got a secret we gonna do after I win. Nigga, he gonna take away Medicare and Social Security. Yeah. Cause they'd have been trying to get rid of it. Now they got the House and the Senate. Man, they getting rid of that shit. They getting rid of Obamacare. They ain't finna make no house affordable for you. I got a house. Beautiful house. Let me see Trump get you one. I got insurance. Good insurance. Married to my wife. Best insurance you can get. They gonna take away Obamacare. Oh, you gonna get shot to get sick. You gonna be in some trouble. Cause Trump feel like everybody should carry, carry their own. Trump, them ain't, ain't the Democrats. The Democrats give you niggas welfare, take care of your, your unemployment, give you food stamps, and give you uh, benefits. Man, Trump, them ain't giving you shit. You should be able to afford that shit yourself. That was y'all don't know the Republican Party don't believe in helping nobody. They give you a tax cut, but they ain't gonna help you. Wait the grin in them, don't get their Medicare and Medicaid. And they gotta come and stay with you, nigga. Got that, got that old folks home. Go lay in that back room with you and your lady and piss on them beds and shit they got back there. Put their hospital bed in the living room, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say your grandmammy. I ain't gonna say your grandmama. Your grandmammy, nigga. You just signed Granny's death certificate. He already been talking about it. He got the house in the Senate. He's getting away with taking away because he's trying to cut costs. He's trying to cut costs because of that tax cut he gave you dumb ass. I love every bit of it. And if he get a police immunity. And you niggas got small mouths on you. I be seeing you talk shit when the police pull you over. Man, you put me over fuck. Man, goddamn, I ain't did shit. What I do wrong? Man, go shoot you in the face. Bow! You got a minute. <laughs> yeah. What's for your bad is for your own good. It's Trump was bad, but it's for your good because the world and the country separated. Niggas hate White folks hate Mexicans hate But Trump gonna make it so up. You niggas will have to come together. It's like George Floyd. Yeah. They had the world upset. Everybody got together because it took something bad to bring us around for the good. Trump gonna do the same thing. This country gonna be so fucked.
up Mexican gonna be looking for to hold their hands. Racist white men gonna be looking for niggas to shoot them rifles with them side by side. When Russia and North Korea and China them soldiers over here, they kick us in our ass because Trump gonna leave the border wide open for them. They gonna be poo. Yeah, this mother the United States of Russia. President Putin won. That's your president, Putin. Goddamn it. How y'all vote for a nigga who looks up to a dictator president? Man, he's, he's Putin, little homie. Y'all just voted Putin. Putin, the president of the United States, you dumbass. This is going to be a good show on my wife. I'm going to say, let me see Trump get you home to the house. Let me see you niggas' pockets get fed up under Trump. I don't see all this shit y'all were talking about. I was Trump, we ain't good. I'm, okay, now we're going to see. We see the food for the prices for the drop, gas for the drop. Oh shit, I want to see this, because guess what, you dumb motherfuckers. Whatever Trump give you, I get. And I don't even fuck with that hoe. That's how America works. He can't just give to you. He can't sign in and say, give to the people that make ahead. No, but whatever you get, I'm going to get. That's how it works in the United States. He can't do it for one. He can't do it for whites. He can't do it for Jews. He can't do it for blacks. He got to pass a bill for everybody. So, guess I know he ain't gonna pass you shit because he don't want me to get it. He don't f with him. So, you gonna make sure I don't get it. So, you go like, no, I ain't getting black people. All that black money that she gonna give y'all from them black business, that shit out wait. Trump don't believe in giving shit for no business. All that affordable housing shit that Kamala says she gonna do, all that's gone. If you think Trump will help you get in the house, you crazy. I'm in one. I can see me put you in one. Cardi B and Tamara Braxton sick of it. I am physically sick to my stomach, like most of y'all. I just had a song that I, that jumped in my spirit. So actually, you don't have to see my background. Okay. It go like this. America's a liar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like that? Yeah, I don't trust. I'm a <laughs> America's a liar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 I cried myself to sleep last night. I felt it all day yesterday. When I saw that the, the, the America's liar, I saw it. I just, I, I just, I feel so unaccomplished as a black woman. I, I feel so unappreciated. Like y'all would rather have somebody who would blatantly say, grab them by and have a microphone as if they given a blow then somebody who is and then what I saw and then what I saw the, the, there was a lady on the view who said she worked for the man and said y'all do not vote for him he's a very dangerous person and y'all still set up here in all these rallies yeah 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 lying like, I'm so mad. I'm just. I just. Feel like a setup. It's like a setup, and it feel like here we go again, another white man using and abusing us black women, and no respect. I feel away. I really do. I feel away. And so I just wanted to say. America's a liar! Yeah, 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 yeah! Lie, y'all lie! La 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 la! Yeah, 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 y'all lie! Y'all lie! La 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 la! Y'all lie! Y'all lie! Y'all lie! And I feel taken advantage of y'all lie! Lie! Y'all lie! 
Jesus. Y'all talking about I voted. You, you ain't gonna tell me I voted Jesus. He's the right. No, you voted Trump! It's too much. We have been here before. We have been here before. <laughs> it's like going back to the abuse of X. We have been here before. What you think the outcome finna be, girl? Girl, what you, girl? That's all right, I need my voice today because I gotta go to work. But I just wanted to say America's a liar. Y'all make it a good day. And still encourage your young little girls who we have told that you can be anything you want to be. Doesn't matter if you're a woman or not. Obvious, Larry. That's not the truth. And my mother said, <clears throat> it all isn't good, but it all works together for me. And everybody was holding up. Okay. Um, I don't ever watch the election night. I always catch it the following morning. Well, at least I did the last election in this one. Um, so I'm pretty much getting the information that a lot of y'all probably had last night, probably a little over an hour ago. And just kind of processing a little bit of the information to me and definitely want to jump on here and let y'all know just because the person that you felt should have won, didn't make it across the finish line. Don't for a second allow yourself to question your beliefs and what it is that you stand for. Because just because some results didn't go how you foreseen them to go. It doesn't mean that you wrong about anything. All elections mean or anytime somebody voting on something is that this group of people, the majority, wanted to try this over here. More so than they want to try this over here for whatever their reason is. One thing this election did teach me is something that he knew is something that I didn't know. That character no longer matters. That all the dark and divisiveness and all the things he said, he knew people wanted that. I just didn't think that they did. So this whole notion of America, this is not who we are. No, this is exactly <laughs> who we are. And again, I'm a firm believer that God don't make mistakes. And I know at some point in time, he will reveal why this went the way that it did. And to the end, man, I just want to continue to tell y'all to still stand for the things that you believe in no differently than I do. Neo Nation.